You all already know the drill. Today, I'm going to be reviewing another under eye color corrector. And today's culprit is the Ulta branded under eye brightener. I've never tried this one before. It was like 10 bucks on Ulta. And I was like, you know what? Let's give it a go. The color looks promising. I like that it's a stick application. Unlike my usual videos where I put it under one eye and don't put it under the other, I'm going to be comparing it to the Becca color corrector just because I felt like the coloring looked very similar. And I know this is a popular corrector. We will be putting it to the test if you're interested. Make sure to like and subscribe and keep watching. Like I said, this was $10. I got it in the light to medium and it comes with 0.07 ounces or 2.1 grams. By comparison, the Becca under eye corrector, this one is like 33 bucks and it has 4.5 grams or 0.16 ounces. So a little bit over double the amount of product, but triple the price. What I really liked about this was the stick application. If you saw my last video, I reviewed a Bobbi Brown stick, which I wasn't crazy about, but this one, I liked the applicator. And basically it just says, this is a multi-purpose balm that can be worn alone or under your favorite concealer as a color corrector. Use the angled tip to gently swipe under eyes, starting at the inner corner and working your way out. Blend in by dabbing with your fingertip. I'm going to start just by swatching it on my hand compared to the Becca. Here is a swipe of the Ulta branded color corrector. I'm calling it the Becca. It's technically now the Smashbox corrector, but this is an old one. You'll see it has Becca listed on the top and it's almost empty. So here is the Becca or Smashbox corrector compared to the Ulta branded one. Right off the bat, this one looks a little bit more hydrating and thick, but the colors are pretty similar. This one also has a pot for an application, whereas this one is a stick. Also, if you wanna know more about the Becca corrector in specific, I have a whole video dedicated to it, but it has the same purpose as the Ulta one, just to help correct darkness under the eyeballs, which I need. <laughs> so I'm gonna start by swiping this one under this eye. This isn't my first time using it. I've used it a few times and so far, it is a little bit stiff of a stick. I wish it was a little bit more emollient. I am a little bit concerned about tucking under my eye too much, but I'll show you guys that here. You'll see, I have to move my under eye around, but you'll see the dragging under my eye as I apply it. I'm gonna try dabbing it just to see if that works. I really think to get the product deposited, you need to drag it. So that's not my favorite. I'll try doing little motions. That's my one thing. The stick feels a little bit stiff for my liking, but here is the product deposited. I'm going to blend it out. And here is what it looks like. It definitely helps with color correcting. Here is this eye with it versus this eye without it. Right off the bat, it does look hydrating. It kind of reminds me of the Becca formula, honestly, upon blending it, but we'll put it to the test. Definitely helps conceal under eyes, which I'm here for. Now I will apply the Becca under this eye. So it's annoying, you have to get your little thingy all dirty, but you still have to drag your eyeball around and then I just blend it. So you'll see this one blends Pretty far, I feel like it has a little bit higher coverage. You need less product. This one looks like it has more coverage. I think I might have I put more product on this. So I'll put a little bit more over here. Honestly, pretty similar between the two. The tones are very similar. That's my favorite thing about the Becca or the Smashbox is the tone of it. I feel like it works really good for my skin color. Zooming in. If I didn't tell you I was wearing different products under my eyes, would you know? Probably not. They both have a luminosity to them. They reflect the light. They both look to be hydrating. They both correct discoloration. So far, they look very similar. I don't wanna get ahead of myself, but it's looking promising. I am going to apply my normal concealer. I always use the Hourglass Vanish Concealer in the color cream. Blend it out with my fingies, but I'll just put a small amount I'm also not gonna do a full face today, so I'm sorry, you're gonna have to look at me like this. And then I will use my hourglass powder to set it. So here is what my under eyes are looking like after putting on concealer and powder. I feel like both sides look identical. Here is the side with the Ulta branded corrector, and then this is the side with the Becca corrector. I have dry under eyes. 
typically. That's my norm. I don't feel like the correctors are emphasizing any dryness. I feel like it looks pretty much the same on both sides. There's a little bit of dark depth under my eyes. I could have put a second coat of concealer, but I wanted to see what the correctors could do. I am going to wear this for the rest of the day to see how both sides wear. But first I'm gonna finish, make myself look a little bit more alive. I'm actually gonna be using some Merit products to finish my makeup. Merit so kindly sent me these products. And it's not my first experience with Merit. I've used them before. They're a really good brand just for natural makeup looks, which is why I'm gonna be using them today. And I specifically love their blushes. This is my third one I've gotten from them. It's a new shade. It's in the shade Fox. It is called the Flush Balm Cream Blush. They recently changed the packaging. So here is the old packaging versus the new packaging. I think it looks much nicer with the gold. This is $28 and it has 0.31 ounces. The amount of product has not changed. So I'm gonna be using this on my face and then I'm also going to be using the lipstick from Merit. I've also tried this before, but I got a new color. It's a color I've been wanting. Baby is the shade, which is a nice muted pink. It's called the Signature Lip Lightweight Lipstick. And like I said, I got it in the shade Baby, which is described as a neutral pink. I was right, look at me, and it's $26. And I will be blending out the blush with my Merit brush. And all of this is sold on Sephora. They also sell it at the Merit website. I have a code for you guys to use if you want a percentage off, and I will include it in the description below, as well as links to the products. And I am going to use my Patrick Ta bronzer. I just apply the Merit blush directly to my face. This color Fox is considered warm taupe. So I just apply it directly to my face, kind of dot it, and then use the Merit brush to blend it out. And it blends very, easily. I'm not going to put on mascara because I don't feel like it, but I will curl my eyelashes. And then since I'm not wearing much makeup, I think I'm just gonna dab this on and blend it out. This is a good my lips, but better shade. And it feels like very lightweight as the name suggests. suggests. I just look more alive. We'll see, I really like the Merit blush, it just adds a little bit of life to my face. It has a dewy finish, but it's not so dewy where it feels greasy. It really just feels like skin. And I think this color is a very good neutral everyday color. And here, what you all are here for, my under eyes. This is what they're looking like. This is the side that has the Ulta, and this is the side that has the Smashbox corrector. Once again, I feel like they look very much identical. If anything, I feel like maybe this side looks a little bit more dry around this area. This eye also could just be a little bit more dry naturally. But as far as correction goes, and just the way the product looked under my eyes, very similar. I am going to wear this for the next couple of hours and show you guys what I'm looking like at the end of the day. Does one of them wear better than the other? Because that is also important. So if you're interested to see the final results, keep on watching and I will see you guys later. Hello, it's been six hours. I just wanted to give you guys my update on the wear. What are we looking like? This is the side with the Ulta corrector versus the side with the Smashbox corrector. Coverage wise, they look identical. No one would know I'm wearing two different correctors. The only thing I notice that's a con for this Ulta is there's a little bit more creasing on this side versus this side. I still feel like the difference between the two sides is so minimal that it's almost hard to justify spending extra money for the Smashbox Becca corrector. It might be a little bit better wear time wise, but is it worth 20 extra dollars? That's for you to decide. So overall, I think the coloring and the effectiveness at color correcting is very similar for both of them. The main difference is with the application of the Ulta. It isn't a stick, obviously, which I prefer, but there is a little bit of tugging when you're applying it. I think you can get around that by rubbing it on your finger first and then applying it. So I'll show you like this. So I get enough product on there to dab it under my eye. I do think that would be a way to get around the tugging. 
So that solves that issue. Then the main issue is this Ulta one wore a teeny bit worse, but nothing drastic where I feel like it justifies spending 20 extra dollars. So if you've been in the market for a dupe, something that's comparable to the Becca slash Smashbox corrector, but cheaper, I think it's worth checking out. That's the video. Let me know what else you want me to review in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this and I will see you guys in two Wednesdays. Peace out. Bye haters. Peace.